was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. That's, uh, should people know about that? The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Yeah, cool. Also a collector of magic swords. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. Anything will be better after the Thieves' Guild. I don't care if the guards are organized. I'm a little surprised Constantine allows unionized rent-a-cops. Maybe he's like that? They say he's eccentric. This is gonna be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out. I got you, we're golden. I've been doing this for years, unless he's got dogs or giant spiders or burricks or weird metal babies. I can't explain why, but I've always had a fear of turning a corner and running into a weird metal baby. Keeps me up at night sometimes. Easy enough to get in, shoot a rope arrow up there. I'm not even sure you can approach the front door in this mission. Who would ever try? After the Thieves' Guild, it's hard to worry about confusing layouts. I mean, how weird can this place be? Oh. Uh... It's not just getting the sword, it's never getting the one thing you need. You gotta do the job without killing anyone, naturally, and then find some info on Constantine, I assume, for future blackmailing purposes. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Half of all the surfaces in this mission are tile floors, and the other half are traps. Why even have guards? Who built this? Why? And this fireplace doesn't go anywhere. It's just gonna fill your house with smoke if you try to use it. So yeah, the floor is noisy lava. <laughs> Guard patrols are weird too. This guy rounds a corner, he enters this room, then he comes right back out, goes in a new direction. <clears throat> Hello? Show yourself! I can't get into the basement. It's not an issue of finding a secret. This door is 100% inaccessible, so I go up to the second floor, which is Pee-wee's playhouse, but with death traps. Chairs on the ceiling, yeah. Okay. This dude has plants that are used in the temporary negation of magical spells and systems. Honestly, I could use some of those next time the game needs me to deal with ghosts or evil faces. Um... What, uh, what the fuck? Come on in! It's your master bedroom! Ow, my nose! It's a good thing these guards don't notice ropes or moss. The moss I can kind of understand, because the third floor of this mansion, uh... Okay, third floor is the best way to describe this area that's like plants and caves. And tile floor, of course, tile floor. This is a secure location where valuable artifacts are kept, so what do you do, huh? The sword is guarded by telepathic super guards. You've heard of Benny? These guys are on the other end of the spectrum, practically clairvoyant. And they have seemingly random patrol routes, 8,000 torches. Not that they need them, because apparently they can see in the dark. Someone's All right, what is that? All right, where are you? Stop at once and put your hands up! Okay, and maybe sometimes they shoot each other, but I think that's proof of their dedication. Was something just Hello? There? Anyone there? Hey, you! Ah. After hey. him! Ah. Moss doesn't help. This motherfucker has eyes in the back of his head. You're a pink dude. You'll Not be an hole soon. There's three guards up here. On the lower floor, there's at least three more. As in, way more than I can reliably knock out and drag away into the darkness to be consumed by this rich hippie bastard's plant collection. Whee! 
we can get above the sword, so I'm gonna pull a little Mission Impossible with a rope arrow. All right, I hear you. Come out in the open at once. Okay, I got two of them down. It was messy, but it's done. Yup! I didn't even forage! Uh, I think a baby bird! Nobody downstairs has to know. We still got a guy walking around this area, but I can just, uh... Time to take my new sword and get out of this crazy place. I hear you there. No, you don't. I don't care about finding dirt on this guy. Who needs it? It doesn't matter anyway. They'll just say he's eccentric and not this whack job built a house with furniture on the ceiling and... I don't think I can go this way. Cool traps, Constantine. I found some rooms here. This one's upside down. The one under it is only 90 degrees off, so that's progress. Which leads to a garden, I think. Not that the third floor isn't some kind of garden. That was just an indoor garden. This is also an indoor garden with no windows. Let's see what the map says. Awesome. This seems to be Constantine's private office where he keeps Rackle's Tome of Magic, a note from his contractor who he pays in raw gold. I know who I'm robbing next. Okay, a tree. That should be helpful. It will at least bring me to a decent vantage point to survey the area. Uh, oh. It's the... Uh... It's, it's watching me. I don't feel comfortable in here. Now, I could find the balcony I came in on next to the guard tower. Maybe I could scale the wall, get out the way I came. But there's this water flowing in. That's usually a way out. Oh, ew. Fine, whatever, let's go. Finally, outside. I think we're in the clear. He's got one guard out here, uh, just, uh... <laughs> He was out here guarding this tiny town. Fine, whatever. You know what? I've never been a millionaire. Let them have their weird miniature towns and their magical artifacts and their death traps and their private islands where they indulge in things that I would get demonetized for even mentioning. As long as I can get out of this alive and with a few gold coins in my pocket, this dude can do whatever he wants. Oh, Jesus, I've never been so happy to see a sewer pipe. And that ring looks valuable, but it might be a little big for me to carry. Okay, you want some dirt on Constantine? How about he has a room in his house the size of the entire city, and he hired some people to patrol it? How did they get in here? Who opens that door? Who thought that 1998 bilinear filtering would look good scaling all those tiny textures? Just let me climb up onto this desk and read this note that I have to select. I can't... I... Uh, it... Oh. Men often say heavy is the head that wears the crown. For once they speak the truth, I've told the poor lads over and over, Come not into my private retreat. Do they listen? Do they hear? If they fall victim to my sanctum, so be it. Okay, real quick, now that this objective is taken care of and I've found some information on Constantine, namely that he's a giant who makes man-sized houses that he doesn't live in and that gravity must absolutely kill his back, I gotta somehow get down from here without falling off of this chair to my death. and that there's holes for mice, which thank fuck I didn't see any of those. Maybe because he puts down mouse traps that I'm almost positive killed one of his guards. Rope arrow up here, which leads back into the house, and then, yup, I'm back in the garden. Can I go back to robbing mob bosses like Ramirez? Right, I'm out. I don't ever want to see this place again. At least I finally get to show you guys one of Thief's dope-ass cutscenes. It's low res, but I think at the time these were some of the coolest cutscenes I'd ever watched. Garrett, it's Victoria. I trust you made it back alive. You've done well, Garrett. It's time for the payment you've been promised. 
Yes. Just yes, after all that bullshit, it is 100% time to get paid. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr. My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett, so closely, in fact, that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am Constantine. Oh! Okay, that could be a problem. Cool mansion you have there, sir. Very nice, very tasteful. Ah! You've brought me here to kill me? But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested. Do you understand? I don't even know what to say. The way this dialogue plays out and the killer voice acting, I'll summarize, but I'm doing y'all a disservice by not playing the whole thing. Constantine wants Garrett to steal a gemstone called the Eye, which is locked away in an abandoned part of the city. And his brandy is growing plant stuff. That's... Probably not good. I wouldn't drink that. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Damn right. I don't think we've made ten grand in this game yet by robbing rich people, the dead, or other thieves. And this is legit work. Is it against the law to steal artifacts that no one owns? The eye that Constantine wants is in the abandoned cathedral of the Hammerites. Oh, not those dicks. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. The cathedral is located in a section of the city that was deserted years ago, after some kind of catastrophe. Oh, it's zombies, isn't it? Is it zombies? I've heard stories of the incident. Most are wild rumors about hordes of zombies. God damn it. Okay, find the cathedral. Easy enough. Take the opportunity to steal other valuables. Two thousand worth, which is fine, but the last hundred or so took me a while. Get the Serpentile Torque. Sure, there's even a note that tells you where it is. There used to be a monument in this part of town called the Watchman's Grave that thieves would leave coins on for good luck. You've brought some coins just in case. I never took Garrett for the superstitious type, but expert got a expert. We got zombies, we got ghosts, we got Burricks. The Burricks should know better and they should have left me alone. At a certain point, they'll run from you in terror. Ooh, shiny. And of course, there are caves, and of course there are sewers! As well as power stations to turn on lights, so really there's no reason to go into those. I would show you guys more of this level, but I didn't turn on any lights, so good luck seeing it. That's expert thief shit right there. And let's not forget Craymen, which I don't even want to get near. Better just shoot them with fire arrows, I don't trust anything with an exoskeleton. Constantine's sword doesn't actually do any more damage. The only difference between it and the sword you had before is that it doesn't reflect light, so it's harder to see it when it's drawn, which, if I have the sword out at all, I've abandoned the stealth option. I've read that you can kill apparitions too, but I don't really need to do that yet. Also, flash bombing them 200 times or so works. <laughs> I can basically walk by the one outside the cathedral, which is located on Cathedral Street, sure. And you go right to the back and you climb up. <laughs> Comes a man to rescue me. Poor man. Okay, man, too weird. Why is it talking the to me? The keepers have sealed the door. And only they know how to open them. Cross you the bridge to the grotto of the keepers. What is this, a physics puzzle? You kids probably can't see any of this, it's dark even by the standards of this game. Doing a puzzle to open the first doors wasn't enough, so I gotta pick a lock inside. 
The keepers placed elemental wards on the door to the cathedral. Apparently, they had them lying around and thought this was a good use for them. And there are four talismans hidden around the city that I need to go and steal to get in. But, as they wrote, were the trickster not opposed, he would bring destruction upon the entire city. Oh no! Not the city! This awful, dirty place filled with assholes! I'd hate for that to happen! The Talisman of Fire is kept in the Lost City, the Talisman of Water in a shrine in the caverns below the Old Quarter. I could have sworn I've already been in every underground cavern in this city. The Talisman of Air is with the Hammerites. Great! And the Talisman of Earth is with the Hand Brotherhood, whoever they are. Ninjas? A JoJo reference? We'll never know! So I can't even get the eye yet. I have to leave here and rob four other places before I can get it. And before I can do that, I have to drop some coins, murder all these zombies, and rob a haunted house. Are you ready for the unsettling, creepy thief stuff? Because here's a taste. The ghosts aren't too hard to maneuver around. They have a patrol route that takes them upstairs and downstairs. You can sneak right past them. We kill some Cray men, look around for like an hour for the last tiny bits of loot so I can leave, and we're done. Bam. Now, Thief Gold added a couple extra missions here, including the next one, that weren't strictly necessary, but they're here anyway. And next time, we get to rob half the city so we can collect an obviously cursed item. Mm -hmm.